Hi everybody, it's Sue and Sal and we're here at the garden and it's early September. So the season is winding down. It's really um, kind of harvest season, harvesting for both vegetables and our seeds. It's food preservation season as well. Um, so we're just gonna go in the garden and take a look at some of the seeds and vegetables that we're harvesting right now. mostly focused on harvesting and preserving our vegetables. Um, we still want to pay attention a little bit to the weeds. So I usually stop weeding entirely in September, um, but we really don't want the weeds to go to seed and then seed, um, you know, a lot of weeds in our gardens for next year. So rather than carefully um, pulling out, hand pulling or hoeing any of these weeds, I'm just going to make sure to take off any of the seed heads so that they're not um, laying on the ground. And you can use, um, you know, a hedge pruners, a grass scissors, you can use um, a weed whip if you've got one. Otherwise, um, we've got the handy Hori Hori with its serrated edge, and we're just going to take the weeds, we're just gonna pull off the seed heads, and then I'm gonna not make sure not to put this in the compost bin so that it, you know, gets seeds in our compost. I'm gonna make sure to put these in a separate location. And so we'll just take off all of the seed heads from our weeds and just dispose of them somewhere else. Let's take a look at, at a few of our vegetables now that we can um, save seeds from. We've been looking at this carrot ever since the beginning of the season. Uh, you might remember that carrots are a biennial, so this was a carrot that was left in the ground. This had flowered and now, as you can see, the seed heads are really dry and starting to the seeds are starting to fall off. So this is a good time to bring them in and we'll put them in a dry room and uh, let them finish drying. Our beans here um, are also the pods. We, we quit picking the green beans so that the pods would start to dry. And the bean seeds will be in the pods. So these, these are still, um, still getting dry. They're not dry yet. So we're just going to leave them on the plant to let them finish drying up and mature. And then we've got some herbs here at, at really different stages. So this is, this is kind of a fun thing to look at. Our basil is in the flowering stage. So if we want to save seed for this, we're just going to let the flowers continue and then the seed will ripen. And our cilantro is also also flowering and but it's a little further along some of the flowers are dying back and it's starting to set some seed here on where the flowers used to be and the dill as you can see the dill had had flowered the flowers are dry and now you can see that there's actually dill seed here um, so this is ready to bring in and again we'll put this in a dry space and let it dry a little bit further before we clean it up. Uh, so a few other seeds that we're going to harvest are um, from our flowers. So our snapdragons down here, some of them are, um, they're done flowering, so they're these green pods. Some of them are starting to turn brown, so they're getting closer. These ones right here are pretty dried out. So they're just drying out here. And I took one of the pods off just to check and the seeds are falling out of this. So that's telling me that they are nice and dry in here. So again, I can take any of these inside and um, get them finished drying and prepare to store them. Uh, so right here, we've got our pole beans and they are uh, drying nicely. We stopped harvesting them a bit ago um, and they are just looking really cool here. And now these beans um, are a different variety than the pole beans that we have planted over there. Um, and so with the same um, species of plants, we have talked about this in the past, that you want to make sure they're not cross-pollinating. 
because then um, when you save seeds from them, they're not going to be true to type when you plant them next year. However, there's a few ways to make sure that you can plant different varieties of vegetables in the same garden space and still try to um, harvest true to type seed. So one of the really easy ways is known as like isolation distances. So that's just how far apart you're planting your different varieties. And so beans, um, they don't really spread their pollen very far. So we've got ours about uh, 15 feet apart and that should be a good distance to keep them apart. Um, so each bean should still produce seeds that are going to be true to type next year. And we will include a helpful chart that talks about the different uh, isolation distances for home gardeners if you wanna save different varieties of seeds in your own backyard garden. Some seeds are really straightforward to save and there's other seeds that need a little bit more um, care. And tomatoes are one of those seeds that you, you can't just harvest and let them dry. Um, as, you, as you can kind of picture, they're in that kind of gelatinous substance. And so um, with, with tomatoes and cucumbers, you need to ferment the seeds first for a couple days before you can actually dry them and um, save them. So we're gonna save seeds from this tomato plant. And we've picked this plant because it's uh, about 15 or 20 feet away from our other varieties. So this one um, should not have crossed with any other variety and we should get true to type tomatoes out of it. And so when you're harvesting tomatoes for seed, you wanna get really ripe ones. And then you just cut them in half you don't want to cut them through the blossom and stem end, you want to cut them the other way. Um, that, that shows most of the seeds um, more easily. And then you just squeeze the seed out into a, a jar or a bowl or something like that. And then you let that ferment for two to three days. You'll know that it's ready because it'll actually have like a white mold on the top of it. And um, that way, the, the fermentation process breaks down this um, gelatinous substance that the seeds are in, and it also can help to um, get rid of any diseases that could potentially be, be um, transmitted via the, the seed. I had cut up uh, some tomatoes a few days ago. Um, so here we have some that are starting to ferment. Um, you can see the um, mold on there. And so what we're gonna do now is um, add some water to this. So you add, you add some water and mix it around. So as you can see, the seeds start settling to the bottom of the jar. And um, so then what you can do is just pour off the liquid and you pour it off kind of slowly so that you don't pour any of the seeds out. And now it's mostly just seeds left in the bottom and you just keep repeating this process until the water is actually running clear. So it might take, um, you know, a dozen rinses or so. So as you can see, there's not much floating anymore. There's just a little bit of um, tomato in the bottom here along with the seeds. So we'll just keep rinsing until it's just seed and clear water. Now we've gotten to this stage where it's really just seed and clean water. So we'll pour it through a strainer. You can put these on a plate. Um, you don't wanna put them on newspaper or um, something like that because as they dry, they'll stick. And then we're just gonna put the plate in a dry location. We have this room here with a dehumidifier um, and you could even put a light fan on it. You just wanna get these seeds to dry as quickly as possible um, so that they don't start to sprout. Here's some tomato seeds that I harvested a few weeks ago and I actually let these dry on a screen. Um, you can do it either on a plate or on a screen. Once they're really dry, you can um, just sort of rub them and get the seeds to um, separate so that they're um, not in big clumps and then um, really make sure that they're really dry. And then they can go into um, an airtight container like a, a plastic baggie or a glass jar and either stay in a dry, dark location or go in the freezer.
that's it for today. Um, as always, please leave any feedback or questions in the comments section below. Um, as always, subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified when new movies come out. And